usually fibroguide is a very good material in order to increase the thickness of the soft tissue. You can use it around the teeth, you can use it around the implants, even for pontic augmentation. I mean, the thickness that we use should be roughly three millimeters, depending on the indication. For recession coverage, it's three millimeters. However, if you would like to augment the pontic, you can use the full thickness of six millimeters. It depends on the indication. Three millimeters should be mainly used to cover recessions or to increase soft tissue around implants because you can close the flap much better. However, if you are uh, in the area of a pontic, where you would like to avoid maybe implant placement, you would like to augment also the soft tissue and avoid uh, bigger augmentations, then you may use the entire thickness of six millimeters. You could use it at the reopening. When you open up, you see that you have some lack of soft tissue, maybe a kind of concavity. You just place it under the flap. That's maybe one of the best indications. Or even if you have a GBR, you perform the bone augmentation, contour augmentation. You have maybe a membrane that you use, a bioguide, for example, and then you use the fibro guide on the top in order to additionally increase the thickness. The most important is uh, the facial convexity of the soft tissue, because if you have a concavity, you would like to increase it in order that you have a nice aesthetic appearance. And uh, another important point is uh, the surface texture to have a nice color and uh, also to avoid, for example, shining through of the titanium. In my opinion, FibroGuide is a very good product uh, in order to increase tissue thickness. Maybe if you have long recessions, maybe it's difficult to use. However, if you would like to increase the bulk of the tissue, I think that's a very good material because it has a cross link structure. It attracts the blood, it stabilizes a blood clot and improves the stability of the entire area. So this is for, for me uh, the main indication, increase the tissue thickness, stabilize the wound. You may even stabilize the papilla if you work around the teeth. Get some training to use it because it is not the same as using a connective tissue a graft or using some other more stable uh, membranes or matrices. You have to learn how to use it because when you place it uh, on a defect or in a tunnel, you cannot suture it by itself. You have to suture it together with the soft tissue and you have to have a special technique that enables you to stabilize the blood clot. So you have to get some training in order to avoid any type of failures and don't leave it exposed.